when I was a young pitcher, I, I faced a lot of obstacles out there on the mound. I think just like um, anybody and everybody does, whatever they may be doing, um, there was definitely big mountains to climb and things that I needed to overcome. I was um, a lot bigger and stronger than a lot of the girls, so you know, I remember one thing, I was, I was scared to throw hard because I heard the parents saying that I was going to kill somebody, so here I am on the mound, you know, thinking, I don't want to kill anybody, you know, I throw too hard, I shouldn't be throwing, and you know, all of those things I think get in your mind, and um, you in return become mentally stronger, but at the same time, you know, there are big challenges that you have to face and overcome, and I can remember pitching in the backyard with my dad, and you know, I was afraid to face hitter, so he would put two trash cans on top of each other on both sides, so I had a righty and a lefty up there, and you know, just kind of overcome that mental block in my head of, of not wanting to throw hard when there was a hitter in their box. And um, as, as you get older, and I, I think as you practice and become the athlete that you hope to be, you know, confidence comes with that. And I think preparation is truly where confidence is made and, and where it's built. And um, that definitely was for me, you know, if I worked hard in the in my practices during the week, then I definitely saw an outcome on the weekend, and that just continues to build that confidence. And you know, I can carry this team, and you know, there is a lot of added pressure being a pitcher and having the ball in your hand, and you know, everyone's looking to you um, in between every single pitch. But at the same time, looking at it as a privilege, and it's an honor to be out there on the mound. And you know, for me, there's no greater feeling than having the ball in my hand and, and having a hitter in that box wanting to try to face me. And, that's my competitiveness within me, and it's it's so great to be able to turn the game around. You know, get my team back in there on offense, and and let them do the work as the bats, or you know, get out of a jam, bases loaded, so many things. And then obviously there's times where I didn't get out of those jams. You know, but I think with anything, you just you know you look at your at what you fail at, and you just kind of reassess it, and you keep moving forward. And you know, softball, baseball, it's a tough game. You fail seven out of ten times at the plate, and you're a good hitter. So I think. You know, as a young athlete, it helped me um, overcome failure and face failure on a daily basis and, you know, turning that frustration into determination and, you know, putting in the hours in practice to eventually get the outcome that you hope and dream for on the playing field.